Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a Windows video editor tutorial. Now, this is really a special program to me because prior to it being called Windows Video Editor, it was called Windows Movie Maker. And so Windows Movie Maker was really my first introduction into video editing. And it came out in the year 2000 and it ended in 2017. And then later on that same year, uh, Microsoft introduced it into its photo program. And eventually it now is called Windows Video Editor. And so if you actually go into Windows 10, go to your start menu, you go down to the bottom, you'll see something called Video Editor. And once you bring that up, you'll notice that it is pretty much part of photos. So if you go to photos here, you see all your normal photo stuff. And then you go to your video editor and now we have Windows Video Editor. And so this video editor is a very simple and basic video editor. So um, I'd recommend this for people who just don't want to learn all the complex one and just want to do a very quick project. And at the same time, if you already have Windows 10, it's built in. It's free. You don't have to pay for it. And so we're going to go ahead and start a new blank video project. And once you bring it up, it's going to ask you to name your project. I'm just going to call this test project. And the interface, it's very simple, but at the same time, it's very familiar to anybody who's ever used Windows Movie Maker before. And so the first thing you see here is your project library. So this is where you can actually add your files. So if you go add here, you can add it from your PC, from your collection, or from the web. And you can also drag clips straight over here to your project library. So you could drag over videos or images. So we'll go to from this PC, and I'm just going to drag a, a bunch of clips here. We'll drag this one and this one. So three different clips. Say so open. And depending on your resolution, uh, it might take a little while and also your computer, but mine's pretty quick. So I have three different clips here. And what you notice here is there is a place in storyboard. There's a storyboard down here. So this doesn't work like traditional video editors that you're used to now where you have multiple project timelines. It's basically one timeline or one storyboard. And I'll go through the various options here on the main menu. And the first one is your place in storyboard, which I just talked about. You can delete and you can also change the view. So right now the view default is view small, which I like. And if you view medium, it's a lot larger which is good if you need a better view but at the same time once you start adding more clips they could get really clunky so i prefer the medium view and so the first thing we're going to do is actually drag our clip over to our storyboard so you just drag it down here and now you'll be able to see it right here on the preview window and once you bring down a clip other options will now be made available for you to use so i'm going to go over each one of these and so the first thing you see up here is background music so if you choose this you'll be able to add music that's already available here and for each one of these you could actually preview it as well before you actually put it in there now the thing right now is if you actually put in music it's going to cover your entire clip so currently you can't actually edit how long the clip is you can sync it to your video to the music's beat but by doing this it's going to shorten some of your clips and so if you want to try that there are already music here built in or you could actually use custom audio. So you could add your own audio files, which I like better. But if you wanted to use the music that's already provided, it's there and it's available. And here is finished video. So we'll do that at the end. You could actually export your video once your project is done. Now here with these three dots, there are some additional options. You could duplicate your project, back them up, or you could use themes. So if you don't want to actually create this whole thing, adding everything, uh, they already have some pre-built themes for you. And they're, you know, there's some pretty good themes overall for people who are beginning. And all of them have music and everything together. And so that's a really quick way for you to make a project without having to create it from the ground up. Now looking here at the bottom, this is where the majority of all the special features in this case for this video editor is going to be. So we're going to go through each one of these. So down here is added title card. So in this case, it added title card at the beginning. So right now you can't see anything because you actually have to add the text and background that you want. So you go down here to text. And once you do that, you're going to see some pre-built text titles. So in this case, you can change the title to whatever you want. So let's just say welcome. 
And if you notice here, you could actually preview the title and you could also adjust it as well right here, the length of it. And I think there's a pretty good assortment here, especially for somebody who, you know, doesn't want to actually design this themselves. Very similar to the music. It's already pre-built for you. And at the same time, depending on, you know, where you want the title to be, you could adjust it. So say, for example, it's centered right now. You could go down here, your layout and choose different layouts. So you can see here. So I think that's a very nice feature to have. And so you can see there. So I'm going to leave it on this uh, pixel, but I'm going to go right here to the center. And at the same time, you could also change the background color as well. So you could choose from these pre-built colors right here. Or you could actually choose a custom color. So you can use this color wheel. So whatever you want, I'm going to leave it very simple. We'll say done. And so now if you actually press play, it's going to go through all your clips right there. So this is your entire project timeline. So that's the first one, add title card. And the next one is trim. And so if we go to this clip, we can actually trim this. If you go to trim, you can now choose the in and out points of your clip. So here's the start of the trim. And here's the end of the trim. You just say done. And now it's shortened your video. And at the same time, if you actually look at these clips, it gives you information. So this tells you the name of the file. And at the same time, you can also adjust the volume level. So you could bring this down to zero if you want. So I'm going to do that for these. Just make it zero. Okay, so going back to the clips, we did the trim. Now you could also do a split. So you could do this and choose the point where you want to split the clip. So say, for example, I want to split it right here in the middle. Say done. And it's going to split it up into two different clips. So now we have two clips. Uh, next up, we're going to go into motion because we've already uh, done the text, kind of. I mean, you could add text right here on your video. So actually, let me go ahead and show you that because it is a little bit different, but it's the same as what you had on your title, except for the fact that now it's going to go above your video clip. So you can do the same things that you did with the title here. So we say OK. So this is uh, the part where I think you could do you know, a little bit cooler stuff and that's under the motion. So these are some pre-built, I would say like effects. So in this case, you could zoom in on the center right here, zoom out of the center, zoom in on the left, zoom on right. As you can see here, there are a variety of different zooms and also panning effects as well. And so this would come in handy if you're doing something like, you know, these product review videos. So if I did this pan to right, I'll say done. And then if I press play, it should pan slowly to the right. It's kind of hard to see that, but you could play around with it. And also we have 3D effects. So this is just more fun stuff. Like you could add autumn leaves <laughs> if you like. Uh, you could also add, I'm going to add this campfire flame as well. This is kind of cool. We'll leave it right here. And there's many, many pre-built effects. You can kind of go crazy. I'm gonna add some crazy stuff here. Let's yeah, let's do this. We'll add snowflake burst and flames. And there's also a 3D library as well. For some reason, it doesn't show anything. I might have to load it. Yeah, it's gonna have to load it up first. So it looks like it pulls it from the internet. And yeah, we'll go ahead and add that too. Why not? For fast website hosting and top-notch service and features, check out SiteGround, the preferred service news at geekoutdoors.com. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Okay, well, it looks like uh, I wasn't able to download that car model, so I guess that's not a go. So if you need to download this, uh, make sure that you have great connections. But basically, it's just going to bring in these 3D models which is pretty cool if you could get it to work. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and watch this with all these various effects. It's probably going to look absolutely insane. Let's go ahead and check it out. Got autumn leaves, a campfire, and snowflakes. And it's panned to the right. <laughs> so you can have a lot of fun there. And then also you can use filters as well. So there's a filter right here. So you could change the look of it. 
So let's make this a little black and white. Or let's do pixel. I like pixel. Yes. Great. And I'll take out that color. All right. Arcade. Let's do arcade. Yeah. Arcade's cooler. All right. <laughs> so let's watch that. Yes. I think I like that one. That looks pretty cool. And then here you can also adjust the speed as well. So you can make it slow or fast or normal. We'll just watch that. Slow it down just a little bit. Since it's not a long clip, it would go way too fast. So you could slow or speed things up right there. And then here we actually have remove or show black bars. So say for example, you had a video like this, which actually has black bars on the top and the bottom, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me go to the original video. So you can see there, I have black bars on the top and the bottom. So you might have black bars like this, it's letterbox, or maybe it's on the sides where it's more like a vertical portrait mode. So in this case, they do give you an option to remove that. So if you have a video like that, you'll go here to remove or show black bars. And you see shrink to fit and remove black bars. So whenever you choose remove black bars, basically it's going to crop into the area without black bars. So in this case, there are no more black bars on your videos. So I think that's a very nice feature to have. And then here you could also rotate. So if you wanted to rotate your video, there you go. <laughs> to make things a little wacky. And we'll go back to what we had before. Then you could remove, delete stuff, or remove all. And that is basically Windows Video Editor. Now there's probably a lot more things you could do with it if you actually spend more time. But as I stated earlier, this is really a simple video editor. It's primarily made for you to basically kind of capture moments in your photo album. That's really what it is, in my opinion. And even though Windows you know, Movie Maker was great when it came out many, many years ago, uh, compared to other video editor options out there, it's probably not going to be the video editor of choice that you want to use if you really want to get into video editing. Uh, but overall, this is not bad for people who are just starting out, quickly want to make a video, and didn't want to have to spend a lot of time learning how to do video editing. So that is it for this particular video. If you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my video editing tutorials, I have a variety of them. I do have multiple playlists for that. You could go ahead and check that out in the description area below or head over to my playlist section. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.